there. Happy holidays from the home of Softlex Company. I am Sarah Ayler, and I am the sales and marketing manager for Softlex Company here in Sonoma, California. And uh, one of the best parts of my job is I get to do live design challenges, which means that a company that we partner with sends me a package of some sort. I open it up here live on camera, and we look at what's inside of it, and then you and I decide what to make with the pieces and parts that I have. Um, so I'm really excited today because today I'm featuring one of my closest beating buddies, Neelay Patel. Neelay is an awesome jewelry designer. Um, he's doing tons and tons of really cool videos on his uh his Facebook page, which is Beads and Bubbles, and I'll ask Thomas to post a link to the Beads and Bubbles Facebook page here. Make sure you run over there and like his Facebook page so that you get updates when he does a new video. It seems like he's doing one at least once a week now. He often does uh, some videos with Jesse James beads on like Saturday morning. So there's just a lot of different options, and he's a fantastic teacher. He makes the most complicated designs just look so simple and easy. Um, so definitely go check out Neelay Patel. What he sent me today is a mystery box, and maybe you guys have seen these before if you're already watching his videos. He sells these on uh, Etsy through his shop, which you can find at neelaypatel.com. That's N-E-A-L-A-Y. P-A-T-L dot com, and I'll have Thomas throw up a link for that too, um, and you can just click on shop, and he's got a bunch of different items in his Etsy shop. I was noticing um, not only are his books available there, but he has these mystery kits. Then he has some uh, jewelry project kits, as well as um, even some patterns for sale, and then some fiber cord too, which I thought was really smart because that goes with his latest book, which we'll take a look at um, as we get started here. So I'm gonna flip you guys down so we can thumb through some of his books before I open the mystery package and we get going. So thanks for joining me. I see a bunch of you here already. Hi, Kim. Hi, Treva. I'm just gonna flip you down real fast and get you situated here on my lovely beading mat. So I hope all of you guys are doing well today. Hey, Diane. Hi, Stacy. So nice to see all of you. I feel like you guys are all my closest friends that I get to do my beading with once a week. <laughs> so it's always nice to see all these familiar names. It's like, hi, Karen. Yay, you're all here. Okay, so before we get started, I wanted to take a quick look at some of Neelay's books. We decided in honor of uh, doing this design challenge with Neelay today, we're going to put all of his books on sale 20% off on the Softlex Company website. So that's www.softlexcompany.com, 20% off. You're going to use coupon code BOOK, B-O-O-K, to get 20% off any of Neelay's books, which I'm going to thumb through all three of them so you can take a look at them here. So Neele is an amazing designer, and you're going to see within the three books that I show you that his designs are so different in all three books, and um, he just really blows me away with his creativity and ingenuity uh, when it comes to jewelry design. So this particular one that's on the cover, this was his first book, actually uses, I believe, our antique brass colored Softlex beading wire. Um, and it just uses it in such a really cool and unusual way to create almost like a big three-dimensional flower uh, with all these crystals and different beads hanging off of it. Such a really cool look. And most of the book is, can it's a signed book too. Most of the book, um, I think all the copies we have right now are signed. Uh, most of the book you do see designs like that, again, using Softlex in some really cool and unusual ways. Um, so this is called Jewelry for the New Romantic. And again, you can find it on our website, softlexcompany.com. And just use that 20% off coupon book 
to get 20% off on any of Miele's books. And that'll be good through next Tuesday. Um, and I don't know if I wrote down the date for that. Maybe, Thomas, can you post the actual date for next Tuesday as well, since I, I didn't write that down? So Neely just has some really incredible looks. This is our 24 karat gold sock wax, and he just weaves it in such an unusual and really cool. Look at this. He made a bead cover using soft flex. I mean... It looks so cool. So it just really lots of really cool ideas. Um, this is, even though this was his first book, this is probably my favorite just because, you know, I love to use soft flex in new and unusual ways. And I find this just so inspirational. It also covers, oh, there's soft flex. It also covers all the tools and materials that he used in the back and then his resources. Um, but yeah, I just think this is a really fantastic book if you're into using the colored Softlex in new and unique and unusual ways. So coupon code book at softlexcompany.com if you want a copy of Jewelry for the New Romantic. This was his second book that he came out with, and I think this was two years ago that this one came out. Uh, published 2015, yeah, so a little over two years ago. This book explores using uh, the, the crocheted and knitted wire um, in all sorts of different and cool ways, too. And then he uses a jig in it. Um, there's some good softlex projects. There's a nice softlex project where he still used the beading wire uh, exposed as part of the design rather than uh, just stringing with it. Um, although our wire is great for stringing, there's so much more that you can do with it. Oh, there's another great design using some fluorite colored soft flex, stringing it through that knitted uh, wire cable and then adding some beads. Um, so yeah, there's a, quite a few really cool designs in this book as well. Um, and this book, too, is 20% off with coupon code BOOK at www.softlexcompany.com. Um, and there's some really cool stuff here. So if you're looking for some New Year inspiration, this might be a really good time for you to pick up some of Neelay's books. Um, and then this is Neelay's brand new book that just came out this year. Um, the fiber is what I was just saying is actually some of it is for sale in his Etsy shop. If you go to neelaypatel.com and you click on shop, I noticed he has some fiber pieces for sale. Because um, that was one of my big questions when I first saw the book is where am I going to find this fiber cord? I don't just see it normally. Um, so I'm glad to see that he's selling some. And oh, and he's the cutest. I love Neelay. He's so wonderful. And look at, he's using all of his uh, Softlex tools right there in the picture too, which we love. Um, but he has some great designs in here. And here he more uses our Softlex craft wire. So when you see all this really cool craft wire that's connecting everything together, that uh, product is from Softlex as well. And again, and here's another piece of craft wire that he used on a jig to make this design. Um, so again, if you like this book, you can also get 20% uh, off on it at softlexcompany.com using coupon code book. Ooh, and look, I love these caged beads from Jesse James Beads. Aren't they the coolest? So awesome. You can see our craft wire there kind of cinching everything together. Yeah, so there's a lot of really cool designs here. Um, yeah, so all three books are available right now in our uh, on our shopping website. And you can use the coupon code for any of those. And hopefully you will, and you'll find some new inspiration as we move into the new year here. Um, there's no better time to try something new than the new year. Okay, so... Miele has been doing this really cool show that he calls Beads and Bubbles, and you can find it on his Beads and Bubbles Facebook page. Um, the theme <laughs> is that he usually drinks some sort of bubbles, and he does some beading. And unfortunately, Miele didn't think to send me any champagne today, so I instead have my trusty apple cider 
to keep me company. And frankly, I'm more of an apple cider kind of a girl these days. Um, but uh, next time I told him he needs to send me some champagne uh, to go with my Beads and Bubbles mystery box. So I'm going to open this guy up and let's see what's inside of it. I'm really curious because I, you know, haven't gotten to see what's inside any of his mystery boxes. And I know that when he puts them up for sale, they usually sell really quickly. I looked on his shop today and it looked like they cost about $9.95. I don't know that the mystery box I'm opening is similar to the one that's available in the shop right now, um, but I'm sure it must have like generally kind of a similar feeling to give you uh, an idea of what to expect if you decide you're going to go order a mystery box. Let's see, a handmade silver silk pendant with matching beads. Have fun, Sarah. Ooh, okay, so what we have in here is a handmade pendant that I assume Neely made. Neely, do you, I wish, I think he's at his day job right now, so he's not going to be able to answer me right now, but when you watch this later today, Neely, I want to know, are you making like 15 or 20 of these little pendant guys? For all of your mystery boxes oh my gosh look at that you guys isn't that awesome I love it so folks out there that have gotten a mystery box from Neele does it always have like a handmade item in it or is it um, is it usually a, a bunch of different items um, and you're making something I'm very curious to know. Okay, so we've got our handmade item. He also included a couple of little kind of like crystally beads. These look like Jesse James beads. They have sort of like a micro bead finish on them. He included a couple really pretty little sparkly guys. And a couple more really pretty, more sparkle guys. Ooh, this is like a cheetah print. This reminds me of Sarah James. So this is probably a Jesse James bead too. And then some cute little seed beads and some cute little, um, oh, these look like stone beads, baby. Cool, so we've got a little package of doodads here and we are gonna put something together. So this is a pendant, um, is what he stated. So we definitely wanna use that as a pendant. I'm gonna assume I can connect up here with Softlex. Um, I wanna see what this looks like. I'm actually gonna flip the camera around because I wanna see what this looks like here. Yeah, so if I take some wire up the side and let this just sort of sit between my collarbones here, I think that'll be a really nice length with a different, you know, type of top. Um, awesome. Oh, Julie says the last two boxes have had a goodie that Lay made in them. That's awesome, you guys. Like. Who, like $9.95, who can get this little like handmade doodad? Um, normally that would be so much more expensive. That's really a steal. Okay, so we've got some different things here and I might grab some other things out as well um, to put this all together. And maybe a couple of those little green guys. It looks like he just put this together for me, doesn't it? Neele, did you put this design together for me? Just to make it like so super easy. I suppose that's probably the point, right? Although that'll probably slip over the top of this. We can't do that. Put one there. Ooh, what color of soft flex should we use? I feel like the fluorite would look so pretty with this design. I'm gonna go grab some fluorite soft wax really pretty, really quickly, and um, 
we can kind of start putting it together. Ooh, I'm almost out of fluorite. I'm going to have to... It's one of my favorite colors, so it doesn't really surprise me. Fluorite is sort of like a mint green color. If you're uh, not familiar with soft wax, what it is is a... Um, in this particular one, 49 strand stainless steel beading wire. So there's 49 itty bitty strands braided together in a seven by seven braid, and then it's coated in a color nylon coating. And there are, I think, 25 colors available. So the colors right in the nylon, the colors are usually based on gemstones like pink tourmaline, fluorite, turquoise, uh, purple amethyst, and um, I actually got to have a hand in choosing the colors. I went into the gallery with one of the owners, and we picked out our favorite strands of beads, took it to the Pantone color book, and then actually manufactured the wire to be that same color. So it's a really nice um, color mixture and really designer friendly. Um, so I think this will work really nicely with these beads. I'm trying to figure out, did he intend for this to go in the center here? I feel like I'm gonna leave that one out for now and probably focus on what we got here. Okay, so I also need to grab some sort of clasp. It looks like we've got both gold and silver going on, so I don't need to be too, too picky on my class selection, but let me grab out my box of clasps. Truth be told, I have not even looked in this box in a while because I've been having people send me stuff, so I haven't needed to. Ooh, let's look in here. I think this was my order from Saki Silver at the Tucson show, and I don't know if I've used any of this stuff. Are you guys familiar with Saki Silver? They're one of my favorite findings companies. Um, but let's see what I picked. Look at that. There's some cones from Saki Silver. They make just really good quality stuff. I think most of their stuff comes from Thailand, if I remember correctly. I picked those. I picked this really cool pendant. I can't believe I haven't used this stuff yet. I picked this really cool pendant. This is becoming the Saki Silver Show. <laughs> uh, and then I got one of these guys. Has those three little hoops to hang things off of. Um, it's SakiSilver.com. There you can see some of their stuff. I should do a design challenge with them. I haven't done that yet. And they're actually one of my favorite, favorite um, manufacturers. Like, look at this awesome, isn't that cool, you guys? I love that. And then I've got some pendants. Of course, there's no clasps in here. Of course. I thought I bought clasps. Maybe I ended up just pulling those out. They do really cool cones. They have all sorts of awesome stuff. Let's see what else I have that could work as a good, this might work as a nice pendant. This looks like a tiara cast. We'll take that one out just in case as an option. And let's see if I have anything else kind of cool in here. Um, it's really kind of a, it's got this bright gold bead here that I think the clasp should probably match my feeling. Here's a bigger one too. I think the little one makes more sense. Yeah, so we'll go with that little Tierra cast clasp. I think that'll be. Oh, Karen says, yes, really like the Saki dragon clasp. Oh yeah, they have really beautiful clasps. They have really beautiful everything, as you saw from my assortment <laughs> that I pulled out. I ended up buying a lot of cones and things because I thought I'd do more of the knitting school projects this year, but I just haven't gotten around to quite using them yet. You know what it's like, all of you out there, I'm sure, 
are hoarding a selection of beads and findings and things as well that someday will get used, but probably not for a little while. Rose says, I love your pendant. Thank you. It came from Neelay Patel. Neele is who I'm opening my box from today, and he has a brand called Beads and Bubbles, um, and he actually made this, and it's part of his mystery box, and you can go purchase one. I don't know that it'll have the same handmade element, but it probably will have some sort of handmade element um, in, the, um, in, in the boxes that are for sale on his website right now, which is neelepatel.com. I should put that there so you guys can see his name. Rochelle says, I have a sake clasp that's almost too pretty to use. <laughs> yeah, I totally get that. Looks so funny. I know sometimes I'm like, I just, I'm not going to use this till it's a really, really special item. It's got to be really, really, really special. Okay, so um, yeah, so let's try putting this together and see how it looks in real life. Sometimes things look better um, laid out than they do than they do in real life. So let's try it out and see what happens. I'm gonna use um, some Softlex gold filled crimp tubes. I'm gonna take a few out. I'm gonna take out a couple of crimp covers too because I just have a feeling with this particular design that I'm gonna want a crimp cover here and here and here and here, especially because these have pretty big holes. I think if I just crimp it with the magical crimper, it'll just slide inside that hole. So I'm gonna use the regular crimping pliers and a crimp cover today. Who took advantage of our awesome crimp sale last week? I hope a bunch of you stocked up on your crimps while they were all on sale. Um, oh, do I have two mighty crimpers here? Oh, let me find my regular crimping pliers. Here we go. All right, I got my regular crimpers here. We have a really good deal going on um, for the next week, and I probably should mention that. If you spend over $50, they will send you a free treasure trove kit while supplies last. So we don't have a lot of these treasure trove kits left from the videos we did earlier this year. I think we have about 14, um, but we're willing to make more that are similar if we need to, if we sell out of them. So you just place an order, $50 uh, full retail price, nothing that's on sale or close out, and they will choose one of these kits to throw in with your order. And the kit is a $24.95 value. So it's a fantastic deal, um, but we just have a few extras that we thought we would try to move through them so we can start fresh in the new year. Um, so that started today. So if you, you know, place an order on our website, softlexcompany.com, over $50 retail, they'll throw in one of these awesome kits, which has beads, findings, seed beads, bugle beads, wire, crimps. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. So it's a really, really awesome, awesome deal. I think we only have like 14 of them uh, left, but uh, Rosa said she could make more you know, you know, based on how many orders we get. So, okay. So I am going to, I think I'm trying, I feel like I might want to go through this whole, this seems like a little more stable than the outside. The outside looks like it's kind of strung on like a craft wire um, and I don't want it to tug on it too hard. So I'm going to take my Softlex medium and I'm going to go through the center, which has the knitted wire. And um, yeah, and I'm just going to string back through my two by two millimeter crimp tube, which is what you would use with your medium Softlex. I'm using our medium 0.019 diameter of Softlex. I'm gonna use enough space that this can still kind of slide around. I don't want it to be really tight or tug on it too much. I'm gonna straighten my wires out inside my crimp tube so that they're running uh, side by side. And then I am going to use 
the second hole in the crimping pliers with the little tooth and compress. When I do that, it's going to create what looks like sort of a little dent in my crimp tube. It folds the center down. I'm going to turn it into my rounder. I just move my little tripod over. Move it into my rounder and I'm going to gently compress it in. And then I like to go around and around several times, tightening it down into the nylon coating of the wire. And you'll see when I'm finished, there's no space between the inside of that crimp tube and the nylon coating of the wire. So I am going to um, trim this. Rochelle says, Neelie is so much fun to watch. Neelie is just as sweet in real life as he comes across in his videos, you guys. He is like a real, genuinely sweet, kind, wonderful person. I can never say enough good things about him. Um, and I have been so fortunate to have him in my life as a friend um, and just, a, you know, really great partner in the beading world. I love to do projects with him. He's so easy to work with. Um, and he's just, he's just as nice as, as you can imagine he is. So I've got my crimp cover. I'm going to slide that over the top of that crimp tube. And basically that just becomes like a little metal bead. And you want to go nice and slow so you can make sure that it doesn't twist on you. That's the most difficult thing about um, crimp covers is they do tend to twist. And you can see I actually tucked one side of the crimp cover underneath and the other side over it. And that just keeps it from sliding. Oh, and there it still slid off. It slides really easily if you don't tuck it. Let me tuck just a little bit more tightly. If you don't tuck it enough, yeah, it just slides right off of there. And if you've got free floating wire, which I probably won't in this case, um, but I still like to have it like it all tucked in. This ornament piece is reversible. I mean, it looks the same on both sides, but it looks like perfect on both sides, you guys. But that's Neele. He's such a, um, he's such a talent, really. Just such a talented gentleman. Okay, so I'm going to string my beads and see how this looks in real life. Like I said, sometimes things look good on your beading mat, but when you actually put them together, you're like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> what did I do here? Um, yeah, I still like it. I think the fluorite looks so nice um, with these colors. I like that just sort of mint green. Um, yeah, I like how this is coming together. I think once I tighten this down so it's not, you know, doesn't have so much slack right there, um, it'll look really good. Okay, so I'm going to take my two by two millimeter crimp tube and I'm going to string it onto my wire. Since I'm using regular crimping pliers, I probably won't do an extra piece of wire like I would with the magical crimpers. I'm just going to go ahead and crimp it in place. And I'm just gonna snug it down close to the beads there. And I'm gonna crimp the same way that I did before. Around and around. And then I'm gonna pick up one of these crimp covers and I will slide it in. Yeah, Rochelle says loving the colors. That's Neelay. He always comes up with these awesome color um, collections too. He's really good with color. Really, really good. Okay, so if you guys can't tell, I love Neelay. Okay, so <laughs> I am going to close this down. Hopefully I didn't, I caught on to the edge of that crimp tube. Oh yeah, good, so it doesn't slide. And then we've got our first side done. I'm gonna do the same thing uh, on the other side and then we'll attach a clasp in the back. So um, 
This will be my last video of the year. I definitely want to thank all of you that join me on a regular basis. Like I said, I feel as much like you're my friend as I think you guys all feel like I'm your friend. Um, this has added such a joy to my life to be able to do these videos and connect with all of you out there that love beading um, just as much as I do. I am going to take a little break. I'll be back on January 3rd with my next live design challenge. I'm going to try to take some vacation time um, between Christmas and New Year's with my family and um, get prepared for our big move. It does look like our we are buying a house in January, so um, we'll have a big move coming up, and I just kind of need to recuperate from our previous move. <laughs> So I'm going to take a little, take a little rest um, and try to recover a little bit. But I will be back January 3rd. I'm doing a design challenge with a company called Plazco.com. And you can check them out now. And then a week after that, we'll be doing a live sale with some of Mike's um, items and we have a lot of really cool gemstone pendants that we're looking forward uh, to sharing with all of you. Which speaking of, well, Sandra, I'm not moving over Christmas. I'm going to be moving in January and February. So um, thankfully, not over Christmas. But I do need to rest because I feel like I've been moving for the last six months Um just continuously. <laughs> so I'm going to rest a little and try to, to um, get my mojo back and ready for 2018. Definitely get to some yoga classes and um, do some bike rides and things like that with my family, spend time with my family. So um, I was going to tell you, if you did the cyber sale, you should have received your invoice, and if you haven't received your invoice, make sure you email info at softlexcompany.com. All of the invoices are created. All of the baskets are waiting. A lot of the orders have shipped already. Um, so if you haven't heard from us, something's gone wrong. So make sure you reach out and let us know so we can see if you have a basket and make sure that we get you your invoice to look over and, and check off before we um, request a payment of some sort. Oh, Rochelle says, we moved into our home on December 29th. Oh, it wasn't pleasant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thankfully, I don't have to do that. Um, I'm really glad I don't have to move over Christmas because <laughs> it's uh, definitely hard enough to move with toddlers <laughs> without it being Christmas. Um, that would have been really tough. But it is coming up fast, so I need to recuperate a little bit. And, you know, I just like at the end of the year, I like to reflect. Like, I can't wait to just spend a little time looking back at all of the jewelry that we have created in the last year on these live videos. I mean, it's just an incredible amount of stuff that, you know, you and I have been creating together. Um, with lots of different parts and pieces from lots of different companies. I mean, it's just really been really cool. It's been a really cool year. And then having our new book come out this year was really special. Um, so I just kind of want to reflect and spend time um, planning what I'm going to do next year, too. What new ideas do I have for next year? Okay, so we've got our design coming together, and now I'm just going to find the right length uh, to, to add this pretty little clasp in the back. I believe this is a tiara cast clasp. You can find tiara cast just about anywhere you look for it. I mean, if you Google it, it'll, it'll come up, but um, art beads or fusion beads are two common places that I buy tiara cast. If you buy from them online, that would be a really good source. Tierra Cast doesn't actually um, sell to the public, so you do have to find someone who's distributing it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna flip this down so I can get a good idea of my length. This works perfectly as a mirror. Oh yeah, I like that a lot with the right um, with the right dress. This would look so pretty. Yay, and it's like a Miele Patel, one of a kind. I mean, maybe he made like 20 of these. Um, but I mean, nine, $9.99, these, these kits are $9.99. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, that's really a good, that's really a good deal, if you ask me, for one of these mystery boxes, which is what I opened. Okay, so I got my right length. I am going to take my crimp bead, string it onto my wire, and then I'll string my clasp. Oh, 15% off, Sandra says. Are they 15% off? I don't know. I wish Nile was here. It's a really good price. Oh. Am I muted right now? Hopefully you guys can. Can you guys um, verify that you can hear me? Can you hear me? My, cam my phone's telling me I'm muted. Hopefully you can hear me. So anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, good. Yeah, there's always like a lag time. So when I ask a question and I'm waiting for a response, it's sometimes a little awkward. <laughs> it's like, does anybody hear me? <laughs> Thank you for answering me, you guys. Thanks for putting up with my silly antics, too. I am not a technology person that is uh, constantly using <laughs> technology, so um, there is bound to be something going wrong on a regular basis. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to slide my crimp cover on the top of this, and then I will um, do the same on the second side, and I wanted to show you guys the reason this is a great place to show why I tuck in those crimp covers because there's no beads here. So if this slides down, it's just going to slide down the wire to the other one. So you want to make sure you tuck them in and that uh, you get a nice strong hold there. Um, but doesn't it make sense to have crimp covers here? Like I think the bigger metal bead makes sense in this particular design. I use the magical crimpers lots and lots, but there are times where I still like a good old fashioned crimp cover. Um, and this is one of those. So the way that I usually measure my second wire is I find my middle and then I run my fingers up the wire till I get to where I want my second side of my clasp to be. You can of course measure. I'm just not um, much of a, a measuring type of a gal. So I usually just do it this way and it seems to work pretty well for me. Um, you do have to kind of keep track. You always want to look at your little loops and get them to be as similar in size as possible. Straighten out your wires and crimp. Same crimping as before. I'm using the back hole with the tooth first, the rounder in the front, and then I'll go around it a bunch of times. Julie says, what is the name of the company you got your findings? So uh, most of the materials that you see here came from uh, nilepatel.com and they came in this mystery box that looks just like this. He has them for sale on his in his Etsy store. The beading wire, the crimps, the crimp covers, all came from Softlex Company, which is the company I work for, and you can find those at softlexcompany.com. I'm also selling all three of Neelay's books, his brand new book, his first book, and then his in-between book um, on our website, and you can use coupon code BOOK, B-O-O-K, 
to get 20% off any or all of the books if you want to um, pick up some of his other design ideas. Um, and the clasp uh, is a tiara cast clasp. I don't know where I picked this up. I'm going to guess at fusion beads or art beads, but really tiara cast you can find uh, in a, a million different places. They really distribute far and wide. Okay, so one last crimp cover. I'm going to slide this into my rounder of my crimping plier and slide it over my crimp tube. Just gonna gently tuck and tuck. Give it the old heave hole. Does it stay on there? Yes, it does. And then I have got myself a brand new, beautiful necklace. I love this fluorite with the dark brown. I think that looks so, so pretty. Bring it up closer. So I love fluorite. Fluorite's such a pretty color. It's a really pretty Christmassy color too because it's not like so in your face green. It's more like a mint green. Um, but it still looks so nice with all of the um, browns and coppers and golds Christmas time. Okay, so that is my design for today, made from beads and bubbles, which you can get at neelaypatel.com. Um, like I said, this is my last video of the year. I can hardly... I'm a mess. I can hardly believe it, you guys. Um, thank you for being with me all year long making jewelry. I can't wait to start next year. I'm going to go recuperate, and I will be back on January 3rd. Same time, same place, 1 p.m. Pacific time, here on the Softlex Facebook page. Um, and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Um, and whatever holiday you're celebrating this December, I wish you um, just joy and peace and happiness. And hopefully you find some time to get some good reflection and rest over the holiday season too. Um, and I just love each and every one of you for spending so much great quality time with me. Um, and yeah, so stop by our website. Uh, softlexcompany.com to learn more about our products and look, go over to Neelay's website neelaypatel.com to learn more about him and um, best wishes Merry Christmas to all of you and I'll see you in the new year. Bye!